Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. A few weeks ago I let you know that I had, uh, again did a first ho tooth haul and I again find some white pieces and they, I have them here. And um, I had two tops that I'm gonna uh, change or adjust a bit more. Uh, but I also have some other things. So I'll show you first what I've got and then we'll do the trip flip of these tops. So I found this uh, sweater, it's a very uh, thin knit, it's not a, a t-shirt, uh, it's really a knit um, and it's a viscose cotton, so it's very nice, very thin and I like these kind of sweaters because you can uh, very easily throw them over a top that is uh, when it's getting too chilly in the night or when the whole day is not really that warm because the country that I live in is not really a warm uh, country so I like these thin knits the only thing is, you see it already, it is very low cut in the front. It's a beautiful cowl neck, but I don't know why it's that low, because this is all, here is my waist. These uh, mannequins are true, true to my size, so this is my waist, so this is almost to my waist. So I have to put something under. Of course, I can put a tank top underneath it, but I don't like when I have to put things under and combine it. I just want my top to be right. So I'm going to make something underneath here that this is more closed and that I can just wear the top without thinking what to put underneath it. So that's the first one. Then I have this one. And that is a, a t-shirt fabric. But it is really nicely made because um, they put this uh, satin uh, fabric uh, tape on top of it. And I can show you like this I think. They uh, put the uh, t-shirt fabric crisscross here on top. And that means that you have here some coverage uh, for your bra strap, so you don't have problems with that. And on this side they made uh, the uh, extension for, with the uh, satin tape. Uh, but they also stitched together these, the two pieces of the front and the back of the uh, t-shirt fabric. So, because, so that means that the... Uh, oh my god, this for a second. That this also stays on when you haven't uh, tied the bow. And then with the bow you can just make it nicer. It's not um, functional, the bow is just for fun. And I like that very much because otherwise you have to tie this very well because when it gets loose your top goes down and <laughs> that's also always not really that comfortable. The sleeves are also not sleeves, it's just it's a really nice concept because this is really nice to uh, remember when you want to sew something like this because this is really well thought of. This is just a, a triangle that is not closed on the top and that makes it a sleeve and I'm really gonna uh, remember this and make a drawing out of this in my in my book uh, for to make this some uh, some other time myself or to do this on a dress or a top or whatever I want to make because I really like this design it's really well thought of I don't know what the brand is I think it's not even in here no I don't know and then on the bottom they also have a satin uh, part can you see that yes with uh, elastic that looks really nice and the only thing that I don't well I don't like but I want to change is um, the shoulders are very uh, bare now the shoulders and the arms they are no really really sleeve not really sleeves so I want to put something here over the, the, the shoulder and the top of the arms that it's a little bit covered because I like that more and I think that it's more warm uh, when it not it is not such a warm day so uh, I'm going to do that with this top and then I'll show you what else I got because I got some other like, nice pieces. Oh, uh, first I had something else in white. I find a very big um, duvet cover of white cotton but a really nice white cotton and um, I want to um, give that a marmor effect. Um, I saw that on the channel of Sewing Girls, they did the white cotton, they made a marmor effect with fabric, um, fabric paint. Uh, and I want to do that with that duvet cover, then I have a really large piece of fabric to make uh, a dress out of. So I'm gonna think I'm gonna make a, a kind of suit dress out of it in a marmor uh, pattern. So I think that would look really nice, but I have to do that. So that's uh, for another we another project uh, coming uh, coming up sometimes. But that I also got with these two whites, and then I've got some blacks. I found these shoes and they're really nice they are really uh, oops, uh, gala shoes and that was exactly what I was looking for they have a silver heel and uh, black straps in the front and the back I like that very much it has a zipper 
and especially with this kind of shoes i like it when it really uh, sits nice and, and snug on your feet and with the zipper you can just zip the back up and then you can snap this part on and it has a bow you see it's really nice it looks almost not worn the soles are almost perfectly intact the heels are just a little bit worn up but i think they they wore this only one time or so it's really nothing to see that it has been worn so i really like them and they were seven euros fifty oh and the tops were um 250 and five so that's really very inexpensive and the shoes 750 for almost new very happy with this and then i found this bag that was uh two euros fifty <laughs> incredible and it looks very nice it also looks new look at the bottom I don't have my bags like this because I put them on the ground and then I have scratches all over the bottom and this has not so I think this is also not used or they have been very careful with the, the bag that I usually am not um, and it has those snaps it opens up like this very nice also the inside looks as if it is not used before it looks just new and I like just the design with the, with the buckles and the zipper and the handle and also a strap of course so uh, yeah very nice bag for 2 euros 50 no money very happy with this and then I found this bag and I'm not really sure what to think of it I uh, paid 10 euros for it but it says Prada on it well, you see it backwards of course but uh, you know I'm not at all about the design of things um, I don't want them, I don't buy them, I don't want to put money uh, to it because uh, I don't like the concept of the design of things that are really crazy expensive and I don't want to pay for it and I, I so I'm not uh, familiar with Prada bags I don't know if this is really a Prada bag or it's just a dupe or whatever but I just like how the bag looks because if you see it's a faux leather but it looks really nice it is um, wrinkled and uh, crushed and I really like how that looked and it has some funny things here at the side you have these straps and with these straps you can make it smaller or bigger because when you open it up you see it's a really big big bag it's almost a tote bag and then when you want it smaller you just pull on the strings on the sides and then when you pull this one this goes tighter when you pull that one that goes tighter and it is really nice and big you can see you have two big pockets small pockets in the front small pocket with a zipper in the back very nice i very like how it looks and how the leather looks and uh, please let me know if you know if this really is a Prada bag or maybe you can see if it's if it's a dupe but i don't really care because i like it. if this was not here i think i would have bought it earlier than now because i was a little bit doubting if I should do it because uh, yeah but I said I'm not of the designer things so but I thought it was so nice and for 10 euros I couldn't let it in the shop so I bought it so that was my last piece of my uh, thrift haul uh, so now we're gonna change these two beautiful tops and see what I can make out of it so let's go on to the tutorial so I laid down my sweater inside out and I had some pieces of silk left that I uh, folded double and I lay down on the inside on the front of the sweater and then that it matches left to right to the armhole seams so that I could pin them and sew them on the armhole seams so that you don't see it on the outside so I made it high enough that it would cover enough on the front on the top and low enough that I could also sew it to the side seams of the top I pinned it down, of course I tried it on after that to see if it was okay and uh, then I could sew it on. Then with a zigzag stitch I stitch over the seam that I could feel uh, through the uh, silk. Uh, the other side I did it from the other, from the other side of the fabric uh, so that I could see the seam, it was uh, somewhat easier than this, but because the silk is very thin, I could feel where the seam was laying down, so that was not a problem at all. And then I had to finish the bottom uh, seam, bottom of the silk, so that got a zigzag stitch that it's nicely finished. So 
So now we have the facing sewn on. And now what I wanted to do is I want to embellish this with um, pearls. And I have these pearl threads. I have a double one. Oh, yeah. And I have a single one. And I want to do that in rows here on that uh, facing part. Um, and I hoped that I could do that with the sewing machine because I um, wish I ordered a some time ago this pressure food kit for very cheap because I wasn't sure if it could fit on my machine and I wasn't sure if I was gonna uh, use it but I think it cost me 8 euros I think uh, so it wasn't really expensive and I really wanted to try it because there are some nice um, pressure foods uh, with it that I never had and I must say I only use I think two pressure feet, the normal one and the zipper foot and the other, uh, the other ones that I have already uh, I don't really use but I thought it was nice to try it out and to see and there is a pearl of feet <coughs> uh, to this uh, with which you should uh, could sew on these pearls but that didn't work but I found another one that uh, worked and I tried it out on this scrap piece and when you go very slow, it goes very well. I put my um, uh, width of the stitch as wide as I could and the length of the stitch also as wide as I could. Uh, but I have to um, uh, uh, feed this in on the right speed because uh, the pressure foot doesn't take it on. So I have to make sure that my uh, needle goes between the pearls. Uh, because I feed it like that because the pressure foot doesn't take it maybe because these pearls are also rather thick so that's a bit of a problem but I sewed this uh, top part I sewed it on the scrap piece and it looks really nice I can do it by hand but you know I don't really like to sew by hand so I'm gonna try to do it like this and then I'll do two rows uh, of the single pearl uh, beads and one row of the uh, double on the middle part and um, well, I'm gonna try now with the sewing machine if it works. If it doesn't work, then I'll just do it by hand. It's just three small rows, so that's not really a problem. But I think then really you have you have this part really nice standing out uh, below this uh, cowl neck. So I think that looks really nice when you. Well, I cannot put it on now because this is sewn on. But when you do it like this, you can see it looks really nice when you have that on. So that's what I'm gonna do, gonna do now. And then this shirt is finished. I put my shirt on my dress form so that it's easier to pin it down and to uh, measure the fringe so that uh, it is even from uh, left on the right side and also the first uh, fringe and the one uh, beneath it. And when I've pinned it down, I always try it on to see if it's uh, okay the way I like it or if I have to adjust something. And that's very easy to do like this uh, than when you have to pin it when you have it on. And this is the result of the sweater with the insert like this and I don't know if you can see it so far away and it's very bright I see that's better I think it looks really nice with the pearl detail and uh, I like that it's now you can just put this sweater on without thinking what to put underneath it so I think it looks really nice it's a very comfortable sweater because it's so lightweight and um, well it looks very nice I think 
and I was happy that I um, tried the other pasta foods because I was a little bit insecure when I got the whole package uh, without an instruction what was for what and I was looking on uh, YouTube to find instructions what pressure food uh, you should use for something like this with pearls but I couldn't really find it and it's also difficult to see then what is the pressure food that you have because I have 48 or something in that box but I just tried and thought well I just look and try and see how it goes and it is not perfect but it works fairly well and I think with normal pressure food you cannot sew this on and you have to do it by hand and this is way more easier and way more practical to do and I think it looks really nice I'm very happy with the result I'm very happy with the sweater I'm sure I will uh, wear it a lot this spring and summer because of the lightweight and you have your arms covered when it's not that warm and I have a rather cold country so very happy with this result and um, I show you the other top and this is the other top and I think that turned out really nice too uh, with the ruffles and the fringe and it has just a little bit more coverage now on the arms so when you're a little bit self-conscious conscious about your arms then this is a little more covered and uh, well I really like this top I, I as i said in the beginning i like the uh, pattern of this top the design because it's really a, a funny thing and now with the fringe it's even more funny yeah? i'm not sure about this bow now i think i will not do it as a bow but just like this or something it's the bow is a bit too much i think but i uh, i like it how it how it looks and how flowy it is and i like the fringe on the arms now it's more a cold shoulder than just open shoulder and I think that's more my style so very happy with this result and uh, the next project we will start really with spring because we're gonna make a summer dress a spring dress of one of these polka dots I haven't decided yet which one because I like them both and I'm not really sure what one to choose so one of these will be the next project for next week so a really spring one for uh, for the next project Thank you so much for watching again. Please subscribe if you oh, I cannot talk anymore. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, we're going on for the spring so so season, so I really can't talk anymore. I must now stop this video. I think uh, I'll see you again next week. Thank you for watching. Bye.